but I moved it off to Steve. But of course, tonight I have got one to do. I didn't have any access to any photographs. <laughs> and he's embarrassed them out of us for a long time. So yeah. I'm hoping I've got 18 slides here that they're going to embarrass him yeah. just equal. That's why we've got his own back, having a lot of yeah, <laughs> So, if we go back to Steve's beginning. <laughs> been a member for a couple of years <coughs> before that, helping us out with different shows, and the first real musical that we did was uh, The King and I, which was back in 1992, and I still consider that to be the musical that we set our standard for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was the first show I ever saw with the group, uh, and it was excellent, and uh, it I'm a great part of it. I've got to say, I still think it's the best part you've ever done. And if ever we do it again... It just went downhill from this. Uh, <laughs> in fact, he's nearly the same weight now. <laughs> and see, he's still sleeping on costume because yeah. he's got no shoes. Of course. <laughs> it was then followed by Frankie. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, now, this was 94. Now, at that time, believe it or not, I had to be dragged to a pantomime. Pantomimes were not my scene. But Frankie the Fan Frankenstein the Panto, I went to see at least three times. Now, can anybody tell me who that fellow is there? Ray uh, 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 The math professor. Well, I tell you, there, there was a scene in it with a sheet, uh, which was done in, in supposedly shadow, so you saw through it. And John Blood was on the bed. On the, on the bed. Uh, I wasn't part of the group then, but the girls were, and uh, they were telling me every night, sort of thing. But Saturday night was Blood's night for doing all sorts of stuff. Well, all I could see on the Saturday night, because I'd seen this at least three times, remember, so I'd start to know it. On the Saturday night, all I could see through this white sheet was Ray's shoulders doing that. <laughs> Like I would just not bad <laughs> <laughs> The fact Steve had to, he, he, the first part of the pad he was in normal makeup and then he had to put all this green makeup on. Uh, so, God knows how I got to the pub. For those of the North Star side, probably still green. He then changed, and I'm, I apologise, Bills. Oh, uh, just not, I don't <laughs> He then changed course and directed, uh, again, uh, as the successful first production of Oliver. Um, and then in 1995, <laughs> there's no business like show business, uh, he directed Snow White, sorry, can you see that? I keep moving around. Uh, he directed uh, Snow White, uh, but also then played Frank Butler and co-directed and he get you done, which was uh, actually my first uh, show. But we did the opening number, I think it was No Business Like Show Business, with uh, Mr. Atkinson there. I had to wear this goddamn awful wig, which no doubt you'll see soon. <laughs> and a beard. And, I had. and uh, Alan actually rather quietly said I look like a, 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 a Thunderbird actor. <laughs> Walking across, I've got big boots. In 96, he directed and played an Elvis lookalike in the pantomime Cinderella, which we actually did. Sorry, if I come through to there. I can read it now. Um, he, he played uh, sin, in the pantomime Cinderella, uh, which you can see Steve uh, there. Look. Um, and that was followed by Fiddler of the Roof. And for the people that was in Fiddler, You'll all remember the famous hug we had in the White Swan the first night we had because we, it's about family, it's about tradition and everything else. But what got me was the one two ones and two two twos. One two ones, two two twos. Two twos. Two two. Whether that's spelt right or not, mate, I don't really care because the spell check didn't, couldn't understand it at all. I, I just say thank God for Leander. Um, 
Cheers. <laughs> 1997, he directed Sinbad the Sailor. And he actually played a pirate on the Saturday matinee. Uh, I think that was probably... I'm not sure whether that one, Julie's, one of Julie's first shows as well. Uh, he then uh, was in Holiday Snap and his character was Perky. I can't remember who he was actually playing. Uh, but uh, it was... But, uh, that, my first uh, into, into place, and he followed them by directing Showboat. And we went, oops, oh. we went to Great Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd give everybody a chance. <laughs> That's not one of Lisa's uh, emails, by the way. <laughs> uh, I mean, we really went to town with Showboat. We went to the American Adventure Park and we had the photograph table with the Showboat and everything uh, else. Uh, he then directed Revenge of Abernazer, the pantomime, and then he took a short break to play Sid in Pajama Game. And with a body like that, you can tell why he went back that way. Pantomime Sleeping Beauty, uh, but he also performed what I think is one of the funniest scenes in any play we've ever done, which is the fish scene. I think the girls had a lot to do with it, but uh, with scantily dressed girls, uh, along with Ken, and I put that in just to show that you weren't actually on your own in that uh, But for his benefits, and then he moved on to directing Guys and Dolls. I've scoured 617 photographs to find these out. <laughs> I've got more to come. Ah. Uh, we then moved on and I didn't have anything of... Uh, I couldn't find any photographs of Jack and the Beanstalk or South Pacific. <coughs> and I think South Pacific was again one of the shows that we did that sticks in my mind yeah. as a, a really great show. Yeah. Um, and then 2001 he directed Dick Richard and his cat, and then the musical Calamity Jane. <coughs> 2002, I consider to be the, one of the better shows. <laughs> <laughs> can't think why. Uh, I, I know I can't think why, I just seem to, just seem to joke. Uh, it was uh, Anything Goes. And then in 2003, uh, he directed uh, the pantomime Puss in Boots. And then he moved on, and again, I've, I have got a photograph of Ricardo, which is in the next one, which is a, like a, a, a summary of some of the directions that you've done. But I, I think the makeup in, uh, certainly in Pussy Boots, yeah. took us another step forward yeah, in, in, what, in what we've done and, what yeah. we, and how we set ourselves up as a group to, to improve. I mean, believe it or not, that is now. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, and then he moved on. Is that how you spell operetta, by the way? Is it operetta? Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right, that's fine. Uh, he then moved on and he directed the first Gilbert and Sullivan uh, operetta that we did, which was the Mikado, which is something he, he, he always wanted to do. Uh, and not only did he direct, but he took on what I consider to be a really big and um, tough part, which was Coco. Uh, and it came off, and I think any, we were all a little bit, particularly people that didn't know Gilman Sullivan or, or were a bit apprehensive, but I think all of us thoroughly enjoyed it once we were in it. Unfortunately, we didn't get the audiences that we wanted, but from a group perspective, I thought it was fantastic, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So. I haven't got any photographs for that, and I re I've searched every photograph because this was payback time. Um, this was my first pantomime that I, I uh, directed, and, and uh, Steve was Herman the Henchman, but halfway through he played Buttercup. Uh, and scene three, scene three was the classroom scene where he had to get spanked. Now, normally in a pantomime we've got about 12 weeks, so we rehearse a scene maybe two or three times. We did scene three every night for 12 weeks, right? It was perfect on the night. But he did a great role in Buttercup, and I uh, and, and say that was my favorite uh, fantastic. And he then went on to direct again what I think was one of our 
musical to do, to put in that was my failing. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of photographs on this, so I've, I've sort of just summarised what he did. Kiss Me Kate, uh, ILMT, which was the second GNS that we did, um, which is that. That's from one of the Sunday rehearsals there. We then did Oklahoma, uh, and in 2008, Me and My Girl, which that is, I'm sure that's just before we were going on, and he's going, I can't remember the missteps. But I'm saying, just follow Derek. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, and then in 2009, he returned to the stage again to take the part of Man Friday in Robinson Crusoe. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're doing there, buddy. I think it's the final song, but I, did, I didn't know whether you were tweeting like the parrot. <laughs> but, uh, no, a, a great show and a, a lovely part for him. Now, during all this time, he's also found time to play an active part in the management of the group. Uh, and in 2005, he actually took on the role as vice chairman. It, the, the work he does is, uh, I, I can't go into it all, but two, two of the real main examples that Steve's sort of put in is the membership pack, which he did along with Leslie, uh, and he's recently just updated all our child protection policy. Now, people that know me know that anything to do with policy and anything that's got more than ten words on it, I don't I read and I don't want anything to do with that, I pass it on to somebody else. So, from, from a group perspective, he, he does a fantastic job in the, not always in the front and talking like I do and everything else, but he does some of the real key work that we have to have now, particularly to, to drive the usage. Can anybody tell me what that, <coughs> what that show we were rehearsing there? Kiss it is Kiss Me Kate. Can you tell me what scene that is? I don't know what else is there, I think I've got really Yeah, that's when he comes to her, I think, that's when he comes back and she's thinking of leaving or, or doing so and he's trying to talk her out of it. But it was a nice sunny day and I just thought I'd take some photographs, which I'm quite happy to do now. <laughs> so I'd, have, I'd have nothing to put on that side. <laughs> so Steve, you should be very proud mate, of your last 20 years and your contribution to the group. I know as chairman I certainly am proud of what you've done and, and I'm proud that you, you sit with us and you, and you do what you do. So on behalf of everybody, here's to the next 20 years and I'd like you to...